Hello guys, today we're on top of parking garage, my campus in Phoenix, Arizona. Beautiful view. Working on the 2005 Corvette here. We're gonna be doing the trunk carpet. I had battery acid burn through my carpet and create a hole, so I'll show you that in a second. And so first I'm gonna clean up all the trash, get the new one out of my trunk, and then I'll get to the tutorial. Okay, so got a bunch of stuff out. This is what it looks like, pretty gross. Gonna be uh, removing these things first. They hold like the target top in when you're driving with it down. So I'll get to that. <laughs> Okay, so here we have it. We got, we've exposed these two bolts. And these two bolts. Unfortunately, I broke one of the plastic clip holders on that, but there's three and that stuff's not going anywhere. So I'll get these bolts undone. Got that first piece off. Since none of my uh, sockets are actually the right size because all I have here is a Amazon Basics toolkit. I took pieces of the bag, like it was like a Trader Joe's bag or something, and just put it inside and it was enough to make it work. We've got those off, we've got those off. Time to get these guys off. They should just pop off. Okay, so I ended up just pulling out these push pins on the top, uh, which were really easy to get out. And then there's these like plastic, like screw coverings holding this in. And then there's a connector for this light that I still need to take out. And then I didn't even need to take these out because I tried it on the first one. They might've done this different in 2005 and that's why it's not working compared to other C6s because there are some weird differences. But, um, yeah, so taking out these four, and then I just was able to pull it out right over it. And then there's this light connector here. But then once this comes out, we should be able to just take this whole piece out and slide everything back. <laughs> it out just had to pull it back untuck stuff from the corners and I got it so here is what the trunk looks like without anything in it so we can see that acid dissolved carpet ended up on uh, that so I'm gonna scrape that off and try and get as much as I can uh, off just make it as clean as possible but I'm really glad it didn't go through anything or do any more damage than it already did. And uh, it should be pretty simple just reversing the steps to put it back in. So I'm going to get to that. Ok, 
Okay, so here we have our first look. Looks so much better than the old broken one. I still have this pulled up so I can get these back in. Oh, and I gotta get the release cables through. So we have a door release that feeds through here. There's that. And a fuel hatch release right there. Let me put that in. I'm going to need both hands. And there we go. We got both the fuel and the door. Okay, now we've got the light plugged in. We're going to need these screwed back in, but first I'm going to push this back in. Would it be? those back on and then we'll be done okay so here it is there's the old carpet there's my <laughs> recording setup my trash some my stuff my all my tools there's all my tools out here in Arizona and then here it is we're finally done looks great Could definitely use a bit of a vacuum but I not now <laughs> it probably took me about an hour and a half to do and that's including like recording cleaning out my car so really it could be a lot faster especially if you have like power tools like if I had my impact wrench and my good socket set I could be in that out and like 30 minutes but um yeah that's pretty much it i'll give a link to my amazon basics like toolkit very cheap very bare bones but it does the job uh, i hope you enjoyed um thanks for watching